Hey guys, Dow Phoenix here, and I wanted to show you a program that I use to uh, show off a couple of games that I've done on YouTube. Uh, it's called BlueStacks. It's basically a program that allows you to run Android games on your PC. And, um, you know, the program's still under beta. You know, they've got a lot of things that work out on it, but um, it, it certainly works. Um, I'd like to give you an example that, you know, like, let's say if we uh, tried Fruit Ninja, for example, um, you know, booting up Fruit Ninja right now, as you might know, of course, Fruit Ninja is that one game that you have to swipe to cut the fruit and then, you know, like they made a connect version of it or whatever. So, yeah, but yeah, we're not going to do any of that. We're just going to kind of show how it works. It uh, basically used your mouse as like a touch screen. So if I want to start a new game, I swipe it just like I would on an Android phone or iPhone or whatever. Um, so yeah, we'll do the classic. And basically I just have to cut the fruit, you know, it's it's Fruit Ninja, of course, you know, so yeah, what can you expect there? Um, and actually it makes this game really easy with considering you have the mouse, you know. Um, I don't know, I really find it easy personally. I messed up there, but I was trying to get all fancy and, you know, get like a combo. Yep, Fruit Ninja for you. Got a combo right there. Yeah, it's a game about slicing bananas and apples and oranges and pineapples and pretty much any kind of fruit you can think of. Yeah, see, I can just kind of cheat it up like that, except I kind of goofed up there again, but yeah. Yeah, well, I lost, but you know how Fruit Ninja is. I mean, it's, it's Fruit Ninja, like I said, you know, but... Um, you know, if you want to play certain games that, um, like, on your computer, you know, for example, like, if you wanted to do recordings of games, like, let's see, we got Angry Birds Star Wars. Yeah, you could play it on PC, normally, but you're also going to pay, like, six bucks for the game. BlueStacks, you don't have to do that, because you can just download this app to your computer app. Oh, gosh, yeah. <laughs> You download this program to your computer, and it's free. And you play some Angry Birds, you know? Um, you have a little advertisement, I guess, you're going to get in the game, but... That really can be a problem, right? So... Yeah, so... Um, in case you didn't know, I like Angry Birds. Uh, I'm not ashamed to admit it. I think it's a pretty good casual game, you know? It really uh, offers a good challenge. Um, after the initial stages, you know, like, a lot of hardcore gamers would, like, probably dismiss it after playing five levels, but, you know, you gotta really play the game for a while to really see what happens here, you know, in that game. So, yeah. Uh, the Red Bird, of course, is Luke Skywalker. <laughs> in case you couldn't tell. So, yeah. Pretty basic bird. You just gotta, you know, hit stuff or whatever, you know. And, uh, you know, playing with the computer, you know, it's really nice to play this kind of game with it, you know. Because you really get a nice view of everything. Um, you know, I, I got it I got on my Android phone, and it plays great on that, of course, but uh, playing on a small screen, not really the most ideal gaming experience. I mean, all you gamers out there know what I mean, so... But, yeah. You see, the game runs pretty smoothly. Um, you do need a pretty decent computer in order to handle blue stacks well, but um, yeah, don't run too bad. I probably actually shouldn't have done that. Let me just refresh the level. You're supposed to actually try to get some of the blocks to kind of push out. Like, I'll show you what I mean here. Like, you want the bird to kind of bounce back to hit that one guy. It's a better way to work out at all either. 
Well, I'm not gonna really get fancy, you know, get three stars just to demonstrate what I'm talking about here, but I will do this. Maybe. Gosh, come on, physics! <laughs> See, what I mean by the advertisement, yeah, you get advertisements to deal with, but... I mean, wouldn't you rather play it for free and have advertisements and pay for it and not have advertisements? Come on, come on! There we go. Got him. That's what I was trying to do, kind of, there. Before. So, yeah. Uh, now we just gotta take out this one. He's a pretty easy target. Yep. That's Angry Birds for you. And you can play it on your computer. You know, if you get bored or whatever. And... Yeah. So just let me go what you guys all think there. Yeah, we'll just go ahead and exit out of that now. Um, that's how I played Oregon Trail, of course. That's how I played Game Dev Story. Um, there's a lot more games that I'd like to show here, but um, one of the problems with Blue Stacks is that it some some games work pretty well on it, and some do not. Like if I wanted to play, uh, I don't know. Let's try Temple Run. I don't know, for example. Um, I just gotta, you know, install it here. I'm not even gonna bother trying Temple Run Brave, because that'll be way too much for Bluestacks to handle. <laughs> so anyways, you got a little download thing. Um, I don't know why it's downloading so slowly. I don't know if that's like an Android Market kind of bandwidth limitation, perhaps, or something. Because... Uh, Normally, I can download games on my computer really fast. You know, I can do four megabytes a second or more downloading games from Steam. So, uh, so yeah, I would assume that it's some kind of Android market limitation that limits the uh, bandwidth that you can download it at. Uh, I mean, if if I'm wrong, maybe uh, I don't know. Maybe my connection is going a little slow right now. But um, yeah, so. Uh, Temple Run should be installed now, and I'll show you what it does to run it on BlueStacks. And it's not really a pretty site, unless they updated it to make it run good. Um, but you, from what I understand, the, the problem is that BlueStacks kind of has problems with 3D games, particularly ones that uh, that it might not support very well. Um, you see, the, the transition was kind of slow in comparison to how it would be on a pretty good Android phone. But um, I'll show you what it's like, you know, obviously, you know, on my computer, so I can, you know, kind of, um, yeah, I actually died. <laughs> but uh, one thing that's interesting is uh, you can actually use the, uh, well, actually, it's not going to show me that there, but you can use the uh, keyboards um, for some movement, if I'm not mistaken. But yeah, I was able to kind of do that. Actually, it's going pretty fast. They must they must have updated it, kind of. Because, um, yeah, it's got a pretty good frame right here, it looks like. So, um, yeah, and it seems to be kind of responsive compared to the last time I tried it. Um, but yeah, this is Temple Run, as you can see, you know. Good old Temple Run. Um, yeah, so you can use the uh, keyboard to tilt to use a tilt functionality, but it's doesn't seem to be any way to limit it. So really your best bet is to kind of, well, uh, yeah, I honestly don't know. If someone can tell me how to properly tilt with the uh, keyboard, then I guess this game would be playable on PC. Um, just without that functionality, you can't really play it. And now the keyboard ain't even working at all. But yeah, so obviously it's got some bugs still to work out with here, but uh, it clearly works.